think it's blocked up. All right, so we're gonna keep going left. <laughs> Looks like we found our destination, guys. <laughs> trying not to be too obnoxious. I know I just said we're trying not to be too obnoxious, but we can do one, just one, just one. I just changed it back. Let's try this one more time. I'm pretty sure you've heard it before, but. <sighs> just one of the reasons. One of the reasons right there. All right. What is up, you guys? I know it's been like two weeks since the last video and I'm really, really sorry about that. I've been trying to kind of just get myself settled in. Like I said, I moved a little while ago, so trying to get everything all situated and whatnot. Also in the process of getting a new job, so that's the reason why most of the videos have been a little bit slower. Also, don't mind the jank ass haircut, don't mind the breaking out face. I'm just going through it a little bit right now, but we still pushing strong with this YouTube shit, so let's keep it going. Yeah. Nothing crazy going on today. I just wanted to, uh, I guess, take a minute and explain like my favorite things about this car. And I know I made a video about it before, and I also made a five things I hate video. I got rid of them both. I thought they were trash, so I'm redoing them now. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. So you guys don't have to see this mop, and also I don't have to keep squinting. All right, first things first. I might have mentioned this in the first video, but the sound is just something that I fell in love with. Like from the jump, it just it just sounds awesome. The boxer motor just has this kind of really cool rumble that I've always, always been in love with. And I mean, just having it now and getting to kind of create my own rumble is super awesome. And um, like, like you, you I, uh, I'm not. I gave it a little rev inside the garage while I was coming up and uh, I said straight up like that's one of the reasons right there and I wasn't lying like the, the sound of the Subarus like the, the boxer motor literally makes me just I would do bad things for another one of these cars right now I swear to god I would. The next thing for me would definitely be just the body style itself so I chose a GD body um, because I specifically wanted the STI wing on there but I also just like the way that the body lines are like it's you know a little bit more flared out than a regular car would be. Same with the uh, front fender flares as well, like it just, it looks good. And then when you open up the hood, and I mean, yeah, it's drastically different than what, you know, we're used to, but even looking at an EJ motor, it's still a satisfying, satisfying engine bay to look at. And I think that's another reason why I was kind of drawn towards these, and honestly, after taking my clutch out, it looks a lot easier to me to work on this. I'm gonna actually shut this off for a little bit, because I know you're getting hot. Yeah, you are, okay. So with the Subaru, uh, most of the time, whenever you do any type of modification, you're going to want to cop an access port because without this, you're going to be, you know, putting mods in your car and not knowing whether or not it's going to start up the next day or whether or not it's going to blow up. And so with this, you can obviously, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, reset codes, change codes, add tunes, reflash, etc. And so just the, the tunability with this is really, really dope to me. I right now on here normally will be running, you know, boost pressure, uh, coolant temps, fuel pump duty cycle. I was running my wastegate duty just to see what was going on. Long story short, the point I'm trying to make is Subarus are very tunable and that's another reason why, just for me personally, I decided to go with that. All I need before my entire exhaust setup is done is a set of headers and then I'm going to throw on that up pipe I have, which I showed you guys a parent up pipe. I actually have since gotten another one, which I will tease at the end of this video if you guys end up staying. Hang on, I know we're doing a five things I like to do, but can we take a second to just kind of admire this little view we got here? Hold on, let me go, let me go show you guys. It's not much, it's not like it's the city of Boston or anything, but it's just satisfying to actually know that I have a little parking garage around me where I can do videos like this. This is awesome, this is dope. I might, I might take some more pictures today. For the past couple days actually, I've been hanging out with a couple of my friends and we've been just driving around taking pictures and things. And um, most of the pictures that I take, I actually haven't posted on my Instagram or anything. I just send them to my friends and I let them go ahead and do what they want with it. Um, but if you guys would want to see like a, a vlog where we just kind of go around finding cool spots, taking pictures and posting them on Instagram, like I will definitely do that. Just let me know what you guys want. Because um, I have tons and tons of pictures that I've just edited have nowhere to really put them so 
Let me know what you guys want. Also, just a quick side note, for those of you who are already on my Instagram and my Snapchat, you already know about this, but I finally put on the 04 to 05 taillights, and I attempted to do the uh, JDM taillight mod. Unfortunately, I'm not a wire guru, so this light is always on, as, long, as well as uh, the outer light as well, but that's also the brake light, so yeah. This middle light doesn't come on at all, so that's, that's, that's good. But I am extremely geeked and happy about the uh, finally having the 04 taillights on there. I think out of all the GD tails, like the 04 to 05 is the best. Damn. This video is almost done already. I have maybe like two more things to talk about before I end it. So I guess I'll try to drag it out as long as I possibly can. Another one of the things for me that I love about this year Subaru in particular is the fact that it's drive-by cable. Meaning I can do certain little things like, you know, I don't know, make it pop. I literally am sitting here trying to figure out how to get like this this specific shot for you guys. If someone comes out and goes, you're doing a car shoot? And I'm like, yes, yes I am. <laughs> you guys can thank Pedro for that one. I actually didn't really know about that trick until the other day where he got into my car and he told me, hey, we're drive-by cable. We can do certain things that other cars can't do. And I was like, like what? And he goes, well, if you get on the gas just a little bit and you open up the throttle body just a wee bit, it's allowing more air to go in, thus making the car want more gas to compensate, so it's gonna make that little sound. I hope I explained that right. I probably didn't, but you guys will let me know in the comments, I hope. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did also clean my wheels yesterday. Shout out to Meguiar's. They actually, uh, they really, really get the job done. I think next time I decide to actually detail my car, I will end up doing it myself. And no, this isn't some crazy like sponsorship brand deal or anything. I'm not, I'm not with Meguiar's or anything. I just, I like their products. So, I mean, if I could get sponsored by them, that'd be dope. But yeah, Meguiar's is the shit. And I think that I'm going to start buying more of their products. Don't mind the flash rust coming back. I know we did a lot of work to get rid of the rust and I've been lazy and letting it come back, but we're gonna take care of it. I promise it's not gonna stay like this forever. Also, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this, but we have to fill it in just a little bit with some Bondo just to get this body line perfect. And I mean, the ultimate end goal is to flare it anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, but I do want to get it to at least match the other side and look OEM. And also, as far as the door, I was under the impression that this is a wagon door, so it's not going to fit properly, but I think I have to just realign my door, so I'm going to do that probably some point, some point soon. Lastly, but not least, as I mentioned before, maybe a few minutes ago for you guys, this STI wing is something that I was completely like craving and salivating over for the longest time. And the fact that I have it now, this, this, uh, I love getting to just sit on it, man. I literally, uh, hold on. You gonna tell me you wouldn't want to sit here and just enjoy like an awesome meal from like Wendy's, Five Guys? I love this wing. It's phenomenal. I love this car. Alright, well, my objective for this video was for it to be at least 10 minutes long, but I'm pretty sure I failed. Probably next week I'll have another video up for you guys, uh, top 5 best mods for the WRX. I know a couple of you guys commented and said you wanted, you wanted something like that, so I'll make sure I start working on that for you guys, and then after that we'll go from there. I have a couple ideas of things I want to do to try to start getting more consistent for you guys. Uh, it's just a lot easier said than done, like I've been trying to say, just because, uh, you know, we're small YouTubers. We're not, we're not, we're not at that PewDiePie, Mr. Beast level yet. We can't, we can't do it full time. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, follow all the socials. I'll leave them all down below for you guys. I also do have TikTok now. I don't know if I ever mentioned that, but I made a TikTok. So you guys can go to follow me on there as well. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. So uh, stay tuned. I uh, love y'all. And the message is peace, love, and positivity all life long. Peace out, guys. Right, real question is, how do we get out of here? This way? Ah, I should not have gone this way. Look at the speed bump. All right.
be okay. First of all, I just want to say, if you're still here, congratulations and thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, secondly, check it out. So this is the uh, Grimspeed Catless Up Pipe. Uh, it also comes with a external wastegate bung. This is a 38 millimeter. So we're going to make a lot of those <laughs> noises. Yeah, the only reason it's not on now is because obviously I don't have a actual external wastegate right now. So we're not going to put that on yet. I chose this one over the one that I wanted prior because this one, as you see, has no studs that are, you know, seized in there. So all I have to do is just take them right out and I can put new ones in there and I'm good to go. Um, once I get an external wastegate, we're going to throw that on. I do also have a HKS blow off valve so we can make the <laughs> noises. So I've got all the parts here to make all the cool noises and go fast and whatnot. I just need the tune for it, the time, and the money. That's it. But thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe for real. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. So peace out, guys.